Lakeside Dental Clinic, Go Island, is brought to you by Lakeside Dental Clinic. No, oh, Kelly's laughing at me because I don't even know how to play chopsticks. My dad is a pianist. Dad, I am so sorry. I did know at one point years ago, but I've forgotten. Uh, we're hanging out in Diana Crawl Plaza today because a piano has arrived. We're going to play around with some music today. Hopefully there's some people around here who know how to play. I can do. I like doing that. Oh, dead key. <laughs> Congestion at Nanaimo's two ocean access boat ramps, a cleanup at Cappy Yates Park, and paddleboarding in Port Alberni. You are watching Go Island. Now, I will admit that we're taking a little bit of a risk today because we didn't know if anyone's going to be here to play the piano. Um, I called the library and they know nothing about this piano. I called the Downtown Nanaimo Business Improvement Association. They didn't know anything about the piano that is right over there. We're here in Diana Crawl Plaza, and this is uh, Scott, Scott Kennedy. Kennedy. We're going to talk to Scott in just a second. Um, I did call the city of Nanaimo as well to see if they knew anything about the piano, and they said, well, we might, but they want the l mystery to linger for just a little bit longer. I promised them I would say nothing more than that. It's not the city that did it, I can tell you that, um, but maybe the people who did it might show up. Do you know who did it, Scott? Do you know who put the piano there? The piano man. <laughs> I came to the bank and uh, sat down because figured that somebody would start playing some music and I could sit here and listen to their music and draw to it. And how has that been going? Are a lot of people using that piano? Uh, there was a couple kids here earlier. Um, I was here about three days ago and there was some nicely dressed gentleman. His hair was all fancy or whatever, and he was sitting <laughs> there playing Piano Man by Billy Joel. Oh, was he good? Oh yeah. And then later on that day, that was when I ended up selling my first picture that I was drawing to his art, her his music. Oh, well, congratulations. Now, what about you? Do you play the piano? Um, the only thing I can remember, I think, would be uh, Mary Had a Little Lamb, but I'll give it my best shot. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to leave you in anticipation of Scott's rendition of Mary Had a Little Lamb on the piano. And come on down, people, and, and, and up the bar a little bit for us here. Um, we're going to throw things over now, though, to uh, Annette Lucas. The popularity of recreational water sports and sport fishing in the Harbour City is growing, and that is causing some challenges for the only two ocean access boat ramps in the Harbour City and there's now some talk and some groups coming together to make conditions a little bit better in that regard. Here's Annette. I think the best bit of advice is just an unspoken boater's code. Keep others in, con into consideration. Take them into consideration when you're using our very busy boat ramps here in the Harbor City. This is Scott. He's going deep into his childhood to uh, learn how to play. Remember how to play Mary Had a Little Lamb. And I just love how this piano um, is painted and decorated playing in Nimo. And I'm not going to hurt your fingers, Scott, but on the front here it says, Gully, come play a tune. And uh, apparently a lot of people have been stopping by this piano that appeared in the middle of last week. And it draws a crowd too. I know it's really bright over there, Kelly, but um, it just gathers a crowd and everybody smiles and applauses. And um, it's just got a really good feeling, a piano for you to play if you feel like it in Diana Crawl Plaza. We're gonna be right back after a short break. Still to come today, working together to clean up a neglected downtown park and stand up paddleboarding with Jose and Jenny in port. Hi, I'm Peggy Baker, and did you know that Crimson Coast Dance has presented more than 250 performances, dance performances in Nanaimo over the past 17 years? starting to get a little bit busier down here in Diana Crawl Plaza. Music seems to have a way of drawing people together. We do have a bit of a crowd standing over here and as soon as we uh, shine the camera on them, they, they kind of run away. <laughs> and they, oh, they're waving, hello, hello. But you know, everyone draws to the music and they hear the sound and they, they absorb the energy. And it feels so good here in downtown Nanaimo today. Carol says she's been living in Nanaimo for about 
about the last 15 years. Oh, her friend sees the TV camera and runs away, but we want to know what you think about the music in the plaza. I think it's so fabulous. I love that there's a piano. I just think it's the best thing. I really, the yeah. more music, The more music around, the better. And how do you think it adds to, to the connectivity of our city and, and each other? Well, just the, the piano being there, um, I mean, there's lots of people that have a few piano skills, but not everyone has access to a piano. So, I mean, that's, that's not something you can pick up and carry around. And guitar is easier and harmonica is terribly easy, but uh, piano is <laughs> not. No, it's great to just have free music and free access to that. That's fantastic. And uh, don't need a license and <laughs> just come on down and plunk a few tunes out and it's just happy. Like music is just happiness, right? Have you heard of this happening in other communities? Uh, yeah, I have. Um, I've, I've seen it. Um, uh, actually, in a, a couple of years ago, I was traveling uh, in an airport somewhere, and person after person would just come in. It was like, what a great way to, to you know, you get so much time to wait between flights and stuff, and people would just come down and sit down. Beautiful stuff, beautiful. It was great. Do you play? A little bit, but yeah. Um, just even plunking out a few notes is, is nice. It's yeah. just nice, yeah. And I think there's something bonding in the fact that you don't have to be an expert piano player. Right. And you can just sit down and goof around. It's okay not to be perfect and make mistakes. And mm -hmm. it brings us all together Absolutely, in that experience. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's very true. Because um, there's so much stigma around, you know, a performance, right? So you yeah. have to, you have to have it all tight. And and this way you can just just plunk out what you got. This is what I got. So yeah, and take it and enjoy and share. Yeah. Awesome. I'm getting warm fuzzies all over the place. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> some other things that are happening in downtown Nanaimo that might give you some warm fuzzies is the rejuvenation of Cappy Yates Park. It's a collaborative project. Here's Jocelyn Matwee. Kids seem to be the ones who are instantly drawn to a public piano that just is randomly placed in a public square. The square happens to be Diana Krall Plaza in downtown Nanaimo. Are these your kids? These are my kids, yes. Yeah. Do you have music at home that you play with? Uh, well, my mother has a piano at home, and my brother plays uh, guitar. Yeah, we have a little bit of music at home. And where is home for you? Home is the Netherlands. We are living in the center of the Netherlands nearby Utrecht. Yeah. Okay, now we tried to get your mother to play, and she said she wouldn't do it without music, <laughs> no, without no. sheets of music, so the kids gladly stepped in. Yeah. Do you have just random pianos placed in public squares at where you live? No, we don't have them, no. We, we just uh, made some artists on the road, but not uh, for free playing. What do you think? What do you think it brings? It's nice. What value does it add to our community? Uh, well, you can hear the sound, so yeah, it, it doesn't make... Um, music written by but it's, it's <laughs> nice to hear some sounds oh maybe they're composing an original masterpiece <laughs> as we speak and we just maybe. don't know it yet right yeah right thank you and welcome okay. to nanaimo thank you very much even though you're leaving today we're leaving <laughs> maybe they'll be back and they'll certainly remember this experience uh do a public piano that has randomly and mysteriously appeared in diana Kroll plaza we'll be back with more after a short break is on our side today. You know who this guy is? He randomly shows up, gives a, an impromptu performance in Diana Kroll Plaza. This is uh, Randy Kroll, Diana Kroll's uncle, is that right? That is correct. And I hear you've never taken a music lesson in your life. That is correct. So how can you do what you just did? It just comes. It just appears. It just comes into your mind and you sit down and play. And if you can't play it, you can't play it. But if you can, you wail away at it. It's not like sitting down at a piano and reading music and somebody can come in off the street and read music that they've never played before. It doesn't work that way with me. It has to be something that I've heard before. And that's how the... And how many the, times do you need to hear it before, you, before it comes into oh, you? Well, it all depends how much if I like the song or I don't like the song. But I'll be... Maybe I'll pick it up in about five times uh, after hearing it. Right. And it's like that for your entire family, I guess? Mostly, yeah. <laughs> I would think so. Mostly, yeah, it's like that, yeah. It's just sort of a, uh, just, it's there. It's, it's just born into us. Yeah. Yeah. I'm jealous. I think I'm actually jealous. Um, although, my dad plays piano a little mm -hmm. bit, although mm -hmm. I, I didn't pick up on any of it, as people saw 
a little bit earlier. Um, do you go out and perform in public? Do you I have do. gigs around I, town? I, I played in bands for 10 years and that, but I got tired of packing pianos in it through 2 a.m. in the morning and that, and, but I enjoyed it. What do you think of the idea of having one down here? Oh, it's great. It's like uh, Vancouver did one over there and it was just a great idea and I, I think it's a real neat thing for anybody, kids who want to come around and that and show their talent or their lack of not lack of <laughs> or or some of them are just born at it too like you know it's yeah, like it, you yeah <laughs> so it happens for, and the cousin over standing over here he's um it be, plays in band, played in bands as well around the night. I know how so. he kept shoving you into the spotlight though. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very but, much. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank Jay. you. Okay, right over. We're going to head out to Port Alberni now for an Arbutus RV Island adventure. It's Jenny and Jose. I think they're battling over a paddleboard or something. At the beginning of the show, I apologized to my dad, who's a pianist, for my inability to even play chopsticks. I phoned him and said, Dad, please come down. And he didn't answer the phone because he was on his way to the library to return a book. And no word of a lie, I, I turned around and there he was. So you're going to play something? What are you going to play? Um, a little piece of Mozart. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, my father, Bob Bergen. <laughs> Lakeside Dental Clinic Go Island is brought to you by Lakeside Dental Clinic, a division of the Vancouver Island Implant Center, delivering dental services, including dental implants and sedation dentistry, all under one roof. Clothing supplied by Catwalk Fashions, Kate's hair and aesthetics provided by Maffeo Salon.